What's going on, my PT peeps, my Walking Dead family, and my superhero fans? One Eye Bright back to talk about Avengers Endgame that comes out in April. We have some pictures, some spoiler information, but it's more of a discussion, spoiler news kind of video. I'm interested to know your thoughts as always. Post your comments below. But obviously, spoiler warning for the Marvel Universe. I don't want to ruin anything for you, especially the Avengers movies, Age of Ultron, Endgame, and Infinity War, of course. Don't want to ruin anything for you. Spoiler warning. Photo credit and info credit to these fine folks right here, giving credit where credit is due. Now, I'm excited for Avengers Endgame. Now, what's the Endgame going to be? Why is it called that? And if you look at the picture right here, this is pretty much all the survivors from Infinity War. Now, we see the original Avengers, well, from the movie, the Avengers, Captain Marvel, Nebula, Rocket, Ant-Man, and Hawkeye, which will be Ronin and War Machine. And I would assume that everybody's going to come back. What did Doctor Strange see when he looked ahead in time and he saw the one way that they could win? And I like the theory that Doctor Strange was just basically buying time for Ant-Man to get into the Quantum Realm because that's how they'll beat Thanos. Thanos won. He did what he set off to do. He has the Infinity Stones. He's got the Infinity Gauntlet. But what will happen that makes them win again? Will they go back in time? Will they use the Quantum Realm? Did Doctor Strange do something to the Time Stone? But if you look at the trailer and we see Thanos on Titan 2, where he's just being a farmer, basically, and just relaxing. He's retired now. He did his job. But is the Infinity Gauntlet stuck to his hand? It could be. It's hard to see, but I think the Infinity Gauntlet is there. It probably damaged his arm and it might be stuck to his skin on his left hand. I mean, what do you think about that? At the end of Infinity War, when he did the snap, we can see it's destroyed the gauntlet. You can see the stone still intact, but the gauntlet basically melted and adhered to Thanos' left hand. Is it going to be something that they can use again, or was it a one-time use? What do you think? And if you look at Thanos' left arm, it's clearly damaged, injured from the snap. So we'll see how it goes down, but do you think Thanos is a big part of Endgame or no? Was it just Infinity War? And I have to say, I'm not the biggest comic reader by any means, so I don't know what happens there and what they may do from the comic and change here and there, but the gauntlet clearly is all destroyed after that, and then he goes away and goes to Titan 2. So will there be another showdown with Thanos in Endgame? And Doctor Strange and Tony Stark both said Endgame. Tony Stark said it in Age of Ultron, I believe, and Doctor Strange said it in Infinity War. We're in the Endgame now. So what is going to be the end game? Is it going to be back in time? Which I think is the best possibility. The quantum realm will clearly be used. Ant-Man is the only survivor that we have seen from Ant-Man and Wasp, but how did he get out? Is someone in the van with him? But I wanna see, I'm so excited for Endgame just because it has to connect the dots. And when they filmed Avengers Endgame, it was in Atlanta or around Georgia. And we saw these pictures from just Jared. Pretty awesome stuff. You clearly see Ant-Man, Tony Stark, Iron Man, and Captain America. Captain America has his shield. He also has his original suit from Avengers. And Ant-Man is not in Avengers. So this is clearly endgame filming to me. It's pretty interesting because Tony Stark does not look happy to see Captain America. Captain America has his shield that he did not have in Infinity War. So what happened here? Why does he have the old suit on? What's going on here? Did they go back in time to the first Avengers movie with Loki and just all that craziness in New York? I would think so, right? I mean, that's the only way they're going to bring everybody back is to go back in time. And you look at Captain America's suit right there, it's pretty much the same exact one from the first Avengers movie. And it's pretty interesting that these people all survived the snap. I mean, is it a coincidence or not? I mean, I know what they're doing, but if you look at the outfits right here, pretty interesting. Look at Thor, Black Widow, Hawkeye, Hulk, Captain America, and Iron Man. So if you look at Thor right there, he's got long hair, and he looks drastically different than Infinity War. And after Thor 3, he had a new haircut and he lost an eye, and so he looks pretty different. Well, this was him filming in Endgame. Looks pretty much like that from the first Avengers movie, right? Also, there's a shot going around of Loki. And he's not in this picture here, you just see Thor, but it's Loki from the Avengers movie. He's got the muzzle over his mouth and the handcuffs on his hands, and it looks like the first movie of the Avengers. So they pretty much have to go back in time, right? I mean, that would make the most sense to undo all the things that Thanos did. Because you can't just bring people back after the snap. I don't know where everybody went, but you just have to avoid the snap in the first place, right? So Iron Man and Captain America together, that's what we wanna see, right? I know I do, I'm excited to see how they interact, 
Also, Hulk needs to be seen. He wasn't really seen much in Infinity War, except when he got his butt kicked by Thanos. So we'll see what happens here with Mark Ruffalo <laughs> as Bruce Banner and the Hulk. So what do you think, guys? What do you make of it? Did they go back in time? Did they use the quantum realm somehow to go back in time? I'm excited to find out. Also, Hawkeye becomes Ronin is what everybody's saying. And it, it makes sense because Hawkeye looks different. And it's still Hawkeye. I mean, it's still the same person. But he goes by an alter ego Ronin when he loses his family. Clearly, he had to have lost his family after the snap. And it's pretty great that he's coming back. But is he going to be Ronin? And then when they go back in time, he'll be Hawkeye. And it may be a little confusing. But I'm not the biggest comic creator, like I said before. But I'm excited for Hawkeye to come back. I kind of missed him in Infinity War. He's not the biggest character by any means, but the comedic performances with him and the other characters and just him and Black Widow, it, it just was missed in Infinity War. But I'm excited to see what happens with Ant-Man and the Quantum Realm. And I'm sure Ant-Man doesn't know all about the Quantum Realm, but I'm pretty sure there were some civilizations living in the Quantum Realm that we saw during Ant-Man and Wasp. But who's going to rescue Tony Stark is the big question. Is it Captain Marvel? Is it Nebula? which I mean, I'm pretty sure Nebula and Tony Stark are on the same ship, but does Nebula fill in her way? Or to somebody else? Is it Pepper Potts? Could Pepper Potts go and rescue Tony Stark, which I believe was her name in the comics, of rescue? She wears one of Tony's suits and she goes up there. And I know a lot of people are thinking it's Captain Marvel. But what happens to Thanos, Captain Marvel, and Captain America? And where has Captain Marvel been all this time? I mean, the Captain Marvel movie comes out in March, First, and I believe it's supposed to take place in the 90s. Where has she been? Has she been on some other planet? Has she been in hibernation? And I mean, Thanos and everybody's in big trouble. If Captain America is fine, she can fly around. She's going to be a pretty big badass for the Marvel Universe. And I'm excited to see what happens with this character and the story. But what happens with Captain America? Does Captain America die? As I could see the scene from Age of Ultron actually happening. You see the shield there destroyed. Does that happen? Does Tony Stark survive because of Captain America? A soul for a soul? What happens with that? And Nick Fury was in Endgame for like a minute at the end of the movie. It was the post credit scene. Him and Agent Hill were going to see someone. Who were they going to see? Cameron Klein. He was in the previous Avengers movies and he was a part of S.H.I.E.L.D. Cameron Klein right there. So why were Nick Fury and Agent Hill going to see him? Does he have some sort of thing going on with S.H.I.E.L.D. or are they trying to rebuild things or something was happening? I mean, it's a blink and you'll miss a type moment, but I would assume Cameron Klein will have a bigger part in Endgame. Also, binarily augmented retro framing, better known as BARF, is a prototype created for therapeutic pursuits by Tony Stark. I think we're going to see that again. I'll show you why in a second, but BARF was in Captain America Civil War, and I would assume a lot of things are going to come back around from previous movies. Avengers 1, Avengers 2... Captain America Civil War, Ant-Man and Wasp, and it's just cool that everything comes back around and it connects the dots. Pretty cool stuff. Well, Barf was seen filming. And unless Marvel and the producers and the writers and everybody are messing with us, I could see Barf being used by Tony Stark to help him cope with the loss of Spider-Man or the rest of the people because it's going to be post-traumatic stress after having someone get dusted right in front of you. It just has to happen, right? So what do you think Barf is being used for here? And are the showrunners messing with us? Because it was pretty much marked right there. And I would assume someone got this picture with an awesome lens and they were far away and they could zoom in really far and they got a great shot. But what do you think Barf is going to be? It's just funny saying Barf. I feel like I'm saying space balls, but Barf. And is it truly being used for the movie? And I wonder how much time has gone by. I mean, since Infinity War and Ant-Man and Wasp, because the timelines can get a little crazy. Also, Spider-Man Far From Home, the trailer just came out, and I'm guessing it's before Infinity War because it takes place over a summer vacation for Peter Parker and his friends, the summer vacation trip, and then in Infinity War, there's a school bus, and they're probably going on a school trip somewhere. But what do you think happened with Shuri? Is she still alive? Is she the new Black Panther? Because we saw T'Challa get dusted, so we didn't see Shuri, but she says missing, so maybe she just didn't see her. Maybe she's the Black Panther and she's in hiding. But what do you think could happen with her? I would actually love to see her as Black Panther. That'd be pretty awesome. And I hope they have a big part for this character going forward. And there's been some news that they're going to make a Black Panther too. So how does that happen? Is she going to be the new Black Panther? Or is the child going to be there? And they go back in time. And, you know, basically we watch Infinity War for nothing because they go back in time and everything was fixed and everything is good again. But what if Jarvis 
Well, Vision goes back as Jarvis. Does Shuri or someone else have Vision put back as Jarvis and Jarvis goes back in Tony Stark's suit and there's no Friday. So it's kind of cool to see what could happen. I, I think Vision is gone. I think we'll have Jarvis back in the suit of Tony Stark. And if they go back in time, Jarvis was in Tony Stark's suit in Avengers. So it makes sense. But I believe Shuri got Jarvis, well, Vision in Jarvis's form or however you want to say it. Well, she was working on it and all hell broke loose, but maybe Shuri put a Jarvis on a thumb drive and she can just boot him up, you know, no, I'm just kidding. But hope she got him back and we'll see hopefully Jarvis in that form of Tony's suit. Well, let me know what you think, guys. Post your comments below. Is it true? Are the pictures giving anything away? Time jumps, back in time, quantum rail, barf. <laughs> what do you think, guys? Post your comments below. Let me know your thoughts. I'm excited for April. 2019 is gonna be great. We got Captain Marvel in March. And then Infinity War a month later at the end of April. Thank you guys for watching. I truly appreciate it. And remember guys, with hard work, dedication, belief, and sacrifice, you can truly achieve your goals. Believe in yourself. You can do it. It's about love, support, staying positive, and making memories.